rescue plane dropped a life raft to the 49-year-old, but he wasn't able to swim to it. A rescue boat finally picked him up. He's suffering from exposure and hypothermia, but should survive. 20 oh. hours. Am I the only one that wants to know why he was naked? <laughs> I mean, I, it was terrible. 20 I, yeah, hours. I think you are. I mean, <laughs> maybe something happened in the boat, or he's trying to throw his clothes Those away. Are, the shark. The shark. The shark. He had a, uh, Snickers in there or something. Uh, what's the old saying? Things could be worse. They always say that. Yeah. It was hot today, but let's take a look at uh, the southwest temperatures. So it's 9 o'clock or 919 right now in Phoenix. 107 degrees. So, yeah, it was a hot day. But it could be a lot worse. <laughs> Taking a look at our highs today, yeah, 95 degrees, that's where we topped out. 94 in Santa Fe. We are in the triple digits in southeast New Mexico. A boiler out there. It's going to be pretty bad tomorrow, even here in Albuquerque. Let's take a look at your day ahead. We're going to start out fine. Probably do your morning jog, or if you have any uh, yard work you want to do, do that early because by noon we're going to be cracking 90, and then by, 90, uh, by 5 p.m., 96 degrees. So another hot, hot day on tap for us. We're not going to get any thunderstorms. There are some going on in northeast New Mexico. Some had rolled over Clayton and then some sinking down to the south. We'll see these start to diminish in the next few hours. Raton got a few stray showers today. A couple more could roll in. And then some very light activity trying to get going around the Espanola, Santa Fe area, maybe some near Pecos as well. But uh, pretty limited on the showers, and that's because of this stubborn high pressure cell, which you can kind of see clearly stationed right over the four corners. Think of that moisture wrapping around that high pressure, and you can see it kind of sneaking and diving down to the northern mountains and the northeast. But a lot of us under it just staying very, very dry. Tomorrow, mainly mountain thunderstorms, as that high is not really going to budge, and it won't go anywhere for the next few days. So we're going to have to rely on something else, and that's going to be a cold front that pulls in Sunday, Sunday night. That'll expand our storm chances from the east to the west as we get into Sunday. Monday, also a pretty active day for a good portion of central, northeastern New Mexico. This will help us, too, in Albuquerque. It's not going to be a uh, slam dunk as far as thunderstorms go, but better chances than we've had uh, this week. Taking a look at late week. High pressure is going to start to collapse a little bit, and with the addition of a little low pressure system, that could up our storm chances. We'll get the clock rolling on our storm track. We'll stop it tomorrow. Pretty uh, limited, as I mentioned, in the northeast, northern mountains. And then as we get into Sunday, you're going to start to see that cold front nudging into the region, seeing storms expanding to the southwest mountains, northern mountains, and better coverage for central New Mexico. And that could include Albuquerque, but looks like our best shot will be Monday, Tuesday, and that isn't even all that great. Let's do the numbers here. Southern Colorado, warm out there. Rain chance 20%. And we're going to keep it that way for most of the week. We'll see temperatures dip a little bit, but all in all, we're going to be in the mid to low 80s. Checking out the four corners 96 in Farmington, 93 in Gallup. Storm chances increase for Sunday and beyond, but they won't get all that uh, high. We're talking 20%, maybe 30. In the southern part of the state, southwestern New Mexico, some clouds out there, limited storms. If we're going to see any, they'll be over the Gila. A better shot as we get into Monday. But Silver City, we could see better storm coverage for the end of the week. Also cooler temperatures going from a pretty hot 93 down to the 80s. 103 in Roswell, same story in Carlsbad, 83 in Rudoso. Uh, pretty tough to get storms going in the southeastern part of the state for this week. Count on temperatures staying hot for the next few days. And then they'll dive down to the 90s as we get into Tuesday and beyond. Northeast New Mexico, this will be our favored area for the next few days. 98 Raton, 92 in Las Vegas. The cold front is going to do two things. Increase our storm chances also. Uh, well, what its name says, cold. It's going to drop the temperatures going down to 84 from a 92. So that's some welcome relief for places like Tucumcari and Santa Rosa, which are going to be very, very hot tomorrow. In the northern mountains, limited storm, 30% chance, mainly in the mountains. Could see a storm drift into Española or even Santa Fe. But with the addition of that cold front into Sunday, Monday, Santa Fe gets a better crack at thunderstorms. Also cooler temperatures here as well. In these mountains, it's going to be a dry day for the most part. Sunday, a better shot, and even Monday more so. But 90 in Sandia Park, 92 in Tijeras, partly cloudy out there. Right here in the Duke City, whew, 96 degrees, 98 in Rio Rancho, 95 in Berlin. That's not great as far as rain chances go. Zero percent, I'd say, is about as low as it gets. <laughs> Sunday, a little bit better. We'll increase it 10 percent-ish. Monday, Tuesday, 20, 30. We'll see what we can get. It's not a great monsoon setup. I mean, we're in... August, and we should have a good, good setup. It should be muggy and great. Yeah, yeah, just dry and hot.